Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 258. Auscultation of the heart. What are the areas to listen in auscultation? The areas to listen is aortic area, pulmonic area, tricuspid area, mitral area, and the left sternal border. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the four area? The mnemonic to help you remember this is apartment M or APTM. A stands for aortic area, P stands for pulmonic area, T stands for the tricuspid area, and M stands for the mitral area. What kind of murmur can be heard at the aortic area? At the aortic area, you could hear the systolic murmur. What are some of the conditions that can lead to a systolic murmur heard at the aortic area? Some of the conditions that can lead to this include aortic stenosis, flow murmur, and aortic valve sclerosis. What type of murmur can be heard at the pulmonic area? At the pulmonic area, you could hear the systolic ejection murmur. What are some of the conditions that can lead to systolic ejection murmur heard at the pulmonic area? The systolic ejection murmur heard at the pulmonic area can happen due to pulmonic stenosis, flow murmur caused by atrial septal defect, or patent ductus arteriosus. What type of murmurs can be heard at the tricuspid area? The murmurs that can be heard at the tricuspid area include pansystolic murmur and diastolic murmur. What are some of the conditions that can lead to pansystolic murmur heard at the tricuspid area? Some of the conditions that can lead to this is tricuspid regurgitation and ventricular septal defect. What are some of the conditions that can lead to diastolic murmur heard at the tricuspid area? Some of the conditions that can lead to this is tricuspid stenosis and atrial septal defect. What type of murmurs can be heard at the mitral area? At mitral area, you could hear a systolic murmur and a diastolic murmur. What is a condition that can lead to a systolic murmur heard at the mitral area? Systolic murmur heard at the mitral area can be caused by mitral regurgitation. What condition causes a diastolic murmur heard at the mitral area? The condition that can cause a diastolic murmur heard at the mitral area is mitral stenosis. What type of murmurs can be heard at the left sternal border? The murmurs that can be heard at the left sternal border includes diastolic murmur and systolic murmur. What are some of the conditions that can lead to a diastolic murmur heard at the left sternal border? Some of the conditions that can lead to this is aortic regurgitation and pulmonic regurgitation. What are some of the conditions that can lead to a systolic murmur heard at the left sternal border? The condition that can lead to this is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Describe how atrial septal defect can result in murmurs. Atrial septal defect will cause a left to right shunt, which means there would be more blood coming into the right side of the heart. Now because of this, there would be an increase in flow through the pulmonary valve. This will cause a pulmonary flow murmur and also a diastolic rumble. The reason for this is there would be an increase in flow across the tricuspid valve. One thing to note is that blood flow across the actual atrial septal defect does not cause a murmur because there is no pressure gradient. So there is no murmur associated with the actual ASD. It's just because of that ASD, there would be a larger blood volume in the, in the right side of the heart. And this is what leads to murmur. These murmurs eventually lead to a louder diastolic murmur. And this happens due to pulmonic regurgitation from a dilated pulmonary artery. What is the best area where the machine-like murmur of a PDA can be heard? The best area for this is the left infraclavicular region. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.